Peggy 18. The elite operators of the U.S. Special Operations community are tasked with only the most difficult and dangerous missions. The subject featured in the following interview operated within this community and acted as a consultant on the development of Medal of Honor. Their identity has been concealed for security purposes. I'm a guy with a special forces background. I've been in service in my country for over 15 years. When certain things show up on the table and certain things need to get done, 100% of the guys that you work with can look at that and say, I am the answer to that problem. I always knew that, that I wanted something different. I wanted to beat my own path, carve my own way. I just, I'll call it fate. I wouldn't want to be doing anything else. I always like to refer to the guys in, in, in our community that the candle just burns brighter. There's nothing that's gonna satiate this person. The person wants to continue to push, to grow, to evolve as a warrior. It's a wolf pack mentality. You've got a lot of A-type personalities that tend to want to be the best that they can be. You will smell out the weak. And if you don't keep up with the pack, then you absolutely don't belong. There comes a time when you need to flip the switch, and flipping the switch is game on. That is when the wolves are released. There are moments when you're out in the field and things can be surreal. You have to be absolutely focused. You have to have your A-game absolutely all the time. When you're out in the field or you're on an operation, the operation is the focus. We're at war. What are you willing to do? 